I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. I'm Arthur Boyle of Performance Appraisal Services. We're residential real estate appraisers with a company founded in 1994 by Mike Gianelli and I in the basement of my house in Malden. We've since grown to have offices in Malden and Pembroke. We serve the Eastern Mass counties, including Cape Cod. A good client for us is an attorney or a private landowner or a private property owner who's going through a probate process or a divorce division of property. Call us at 781-293-6900. Ask for Arthur Boyle or Amanda Boyle Grazioso. Our first name is Performance. <laughs> <laughs> Old Kevin with a well. He with a well, right. Uh, please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through an audio recording which will be used to ensure an accurate recording, record, an accurate record of the proceedings produced in the events of the meeting. All comments made in open session will be recorded. Um, so we're, I guess, on the continuing public hearing for proposed site plan SP1-17 at 220 Center Street for a mixed use project. We closed all the hearings, didn't we? Except for the architectural review. Except for the architectural review. Uh, and, and the land, there was a. Uh, yeah. Uh, there were, um, I think, uh, three things that I needed to, uh, three or four, I can't remember, that I needed to change or um, that the board wanted me to address, uh, which I've done. Uh, the first being I show the you know, show the continuation of the sidewalk going all the way past the commercial to the street. The um, civil engineer had left that off when he done it, so now it shows it on the current drawing. I have a um, a two foot bump in on the commercial building right at the end of the gable, so there's a separation, so that'll go in um, right after the gable. And then continue back to break up that to break up that um, 60 foot run to 30 feet and 30 feet. And um, on the landscaping plan, we put a um, we show a barrier. And I'll pass out. I have smaller copies, 11 by 17, but just so you know where. And on the landscaping plan, um, we put the barrier at the end of the road, right there. A row of hedges and some larger trees. Um, I think that was that was it. Um, here are the. I didn't have to redo the rendering because the only thing that changed was the two foot bump in, and it's on the other side. So it's on the. But I showed it on the footprint of the uh, of the building. I know. Um, I think that addressed all of. Peter's comments as well. I got, I got, I have more. Oh, you have more? Oh, that's great. Thank you. So yeah, so Peter's, um, Peter's most recent comments are in your, in your packet. Uh, and I think basically things are all set. Uh, the, um, one thing he mentions is there's no landscape architect stamp, but the drawings I have do have that stamp, so I'm not sure if maybe he missed, he just forgot to change that or if he was looking at digital copies or something else, but, but the drawings that I received have the landscape architect stamp, so I think we're okay. But Peter's actually going to be coming in at 8 o'clock tonight for the Oak Street hearing, so, or a few minutes before, so you can ask him any questions about it. But it seems like Basically everything's okay. Uh, oh, I moved that. There are the, the waiver. He mentions the waivers in there, but I think yeah. you guys are already on board with that. And the dumpster <coughs> pad. I uh, eliminated the dumpster pad and show a smaller um, bin receptacle area um, on the parking lot for for the commercial space. How many units do you have now? Thir uh, Thirteen plus the two. Oh, okay, because I'm like, how do we get to 15? It's the 13 plus the 
John, one quick question. Yep. <laughs> if, um, my math is right. You get a 50 by 30 building out, shall we say, out on the street, and then that's connected to a 30 by 30 structure. Both are two stories in height, right? Yep. So do I have, uh, let's see, that would be, um, 30 by 30 would be obviously the 900, and then you got 1,500 up there. So 15 plus 920, are we talking about 2,400 square feet of area in that no, it's, building? No, it's 55. I don't know if you can see, it might be on the smaller copy, it's hard, but the front of the, it's 55 by 30 is the front. So we're over 5,000 square feet. No, 2550 for commercial. And then the upstairs, that's the whole first floor. Yeah. And then the upstairs is um, about slightly smaller because obviously the ridge lines are there. And the, okay. But you're approaching between the two structures, uh, between the two stories. Somewhere in, in the vicinity of like 4,500 square feet. Yeah, I think that's what we have <coughs> over. Here, I think it has a commercial building <coughs> at, where is it? It's a, oh, no, I have it on my other thing. I think it's like 4,600 square feet, oh. 46, something like that. Well, um, initially, you came to us and said you were going to propose a building about 3,000 square feet. Well, no, that, I'm talking about the commercial. The commercial was always, um, the whole building you know, the FAR. I just wanted to clarify. Yeah, yeah. I don't, whole, mind, I don't mind the distribution or what have you. I'm just saying that. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that we understand that we're really talking about that. Yeah, yeah. The whole South. commercial is the first floor footprint of 2550. Looks like the whole building is 3,750 30, square feet of okay. usable area. 2,550 yep. on the first floor, which is the commercial, yep. plus the two apartments at the bottom of the total of 1,200 square feet based on the information yeah the only thing with the change i don't know if those that square footage was changed um on the upstairs when the when the building design was changed to the historical because this one this design actually creates a little more well, space yeah. because it goes straight up i don't have gables yeah, okay. and i mean i don't have um roof after you know unusable space i should say in the eaves so but the, but the commercial, com commercial stayed the same. Yeah, the yeah. commercial yeah. Now, on the uh, building elevations itself, I know you said you have... Uh, I have these these elevations. These are what I've done for the commercial for the exterior, the design. Um, but I haven't moved forward with the design until uh, this just has... This is the same one you saw last week. Oh. I didn't have them updated because you couldn't see the two-foot bump in on this rendering anyway. Yep, that's on the other side. Yeah, 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 it's on the back side. I'm yeah. going back off of that. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a uh, brick. brick side and yep. the other side as well. That, yeah, that's going to be brick as well. And then everything else is wood. Yep. Shingle roof. Yep. Okay, the only thing we really don't have in front of us, I, I, uh, you know, on the uh, center protection, you have a historical track, the colorings, exterior, colorings and finishings, what have you. Um, yeah, the building. Um, everything that's going to remain in that color scheme. Yeah. It's um, going to be white, and that's what you're showing there. If you're happy with white, it'll be white. <laughs> just yeah, I, I, I just, <laughs> I just want to. We usually we have when the building comes into the center. Yeah. You know, we work off of a color chart. I'll, I'll get and you. And as long as you work within the color chart, you know, I'll basically you're okay. It's just you can't go into a color that... No, no, I'll work within the color chart. It's like Benjamin I'm white. Moore historical... Benjamin Moore historical... Historic white. white. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? That's basically yeah. what you tell us. Is yep. that that's the way it's going to go. The brick um, surface is brick. Yeah. Just the only thing I can say there is you try to get something that's... I'd like to get that warm that um, they make a historic brick. I don't know what yeah, like it looks. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I don't want that brick that's shiny, you know, square yeah, right. with the sharp I mean, corners. Yeah. You want something that's going to go into yeah. the scheme again that's yeah. going to fit. As well as yeah. window design and all those. Yeah, they're going to be, you know, they'll be, you know, the grids will have, yeah. you know, well, six well. over six or whatever. 
Um, maybe the, you know the lower ones was he has nine over nine there. Um, Quick thing. Um, the signage is going to be out front. I would assume that basically you're going to put some kind of signage that. Yeah, it's got that in the drawings. I'm sorry that I can of, uh, There's this. this oh yeah, proposed yeah, right sign. There. I'm sorry. And then yep. it's in the um the, the you know it's just it's in the um there were some guidelines for materials for the sign in the rules yeah. and regs which we don't shoot ten. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the screening uh, vegetative screening. Yeah, and again, I can and open up this. How about the uh, interior of the uh, in terms of design? Um, the uh, access to the first and uh, to the second floor apartments. Um, I think right uh, now. Do you have a safety? Uh, you know, is there any safety regulation? Well, I, yeah, I, I will. I'll have to submit that with the building department. But that will be there'll be um, two accesses. We'll have handicap ramp. Um, that comes along that covered that little right there. That's a cover so you can access it from here or here. So that'll be ground level, and we have the grading um, available to. We'll come in right here or here. If I get two tenants in, I'd like to get one big tenant, but if I get two, I can get two access in the upstairs. Um, I just need. They don't need to be handicap accessible. I can do. Um, I, they have to have two entrances. Yeah. You know, so I have uh, one in the back. Off the the, uh, the, the uh, stairway in the front, by the or uh, the uh, access to the front of the building. That probably I don't know if that's going to be a real entrance or not, because I don't know if people are going to come off the street. Yeah, because it, it, I don't know if, because we're going to have the sidewalk going up to the side to the. And I'm sure there'll be something, you know, the entrance over here, but I don't know if. So that's going to be a real, or it has to be a real entrance. I don't know. Well, I guess it would depend on if I got two tenants and I had to split that space, then that would be the second egress, the front, <coughs> the front entrance. So, and again, that would just be like a wood historical door, maybe even a pineapple knocker. So, Who knows? Um, that so you're thinking if people come up the street, they come down the sidewalk yeah, into one of these doors. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because the sidewalk doesn't go to the front right. on this. It goes right past it up into there. Mm -hmm. I might do some sort of maybe a stone, like just some flagstone to the front just or to... brick. So they're... Yeah, um, but on, I mean, honestly, there's got to be a door there, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, there'll be a door, so but it won't be a primary. It becomes at least potentially a second means of egress in yeah. the second floor. Yeah. Um, no, the, the second means... It wouldn't be like a foyer with a stairway up. No, I wasn't... We have a staircase on the inside because then it, I'm taken away from commercial space. You lose commercial space. At least I have that space in the front. Um, that, but at the end of the day, you've got to provide reasonable safety. Uh, oh, no, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be... There'll be um, I don't see too many <coughs> we have egress, we'll say, here and 10 feet over here. Oh, that's my second thing. Apparently, probably in the fire code, but uh, well, no, it would be thirty. The point being on 30, the front door, at least thirty-five the, feet away. It has to demonstrate that it's it's not a faux door, shall we say? Yeah. No, I can. I, I can. I, I because as we were talking, I was thinking I would need a second means of egress if I separated that space. Yeah. So that would be operational. Yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking from a design, from an exterior point of view, yeah. what's going to appear on the street. Yeah. You follow me. Yep. Um, so, uh, I mean, also common to this type of design would be not so much like you have a little uh, front door porch type of scenario there, covering uh, almost a, a you know a flat door to the surface overall, but something like an ornate window design, if you will, around the door. So that might be an accent, you know, a possibility to you know what I'm saying, like a. Like an eyebrow window? Like yeah, like an eyebrow window over the yeah. front of the top or like something. Like, it's like a transom light. <laughs> yeah, so have no, it's on to it. Have no, uh, have no portico, yeah. but get rid of that and do a transom light. That would be just as well, because historically that's as appropriate as... And then I don't have to build a portico. Look at you saving me. <laughs> I know, I'm always thinking of you. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, We're going eyebrow. Eyebrow window. Well, yeah, no, I see. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're. Maybe you can spruce yeah. up with a 
brick walkway or yeah. something that leads into it. Yeah. Fan light. Yeah. Yeah, it's a but even if it were a single renter in the first floor of the commercial yeah. area, that wouldn't seem to be any effect to them. And no. You know, it keeps the square footing. No. But it keeps historically kind of correct also. Yeah, it's because if thing. people are waiting to get in with their key in the rain, they're going to be around the corner. They're not going to be standing at the front door. How are they going to be around the yeah, corner? I don't think so. I mean, obviously, the main entrance into the commercial space would be coming off of the drive area and those few parking spaces. Yeah. And or whatever's on the other side available to people. Yeah, that's where I was thinking. Of, that's where we have a, over here is where the entrance to the apartments, you know, a yeah. foyer in there. Right. Uh, the landscape plan that you had um, submitted, I believe, showed vegetative barrier going up and along this uh, property line here with uh, your yep. abutter to the right. I think wherever so we're there. Gonna get some, we're going to get some landscaping in here, et cetera, and it should do a lot to kind of block off the residential from the commercial space. That's only um, sheet smooth. Yeah. Yeah, there's a significant <coughs> vegetative barrier along that. Well, the purpose here would be kind of just try to separate the two a bit. And, um, There's a smaller vegetation than the larger trees that I'm reading. Yeah, here's a here's a. I don't know if this is easier to see. Uh, yeah, this is bigger than the. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm seeing, uh, yeah. Wanna, I think we beefed it up from your previous stuff. Uh, yeah, the these previous are all. Plan. And then these yeah, are all the new ones along. I like along this here along in here too. Yeah, you added here, so yep, the view from the street was obstructed. Yep. Okay, well, I think that gives, what does the board feel about that? Does everything look like uh, we're going to get good screening and all? A lot of trees. Huh? It's really here, too. It's 91. Now, what's the deal <laughs> down here? Is that all? It's only there. 120 bucks a what's the, what's the, <laughs> the, the <laughs> I, I see down here you have, you have screening all around this property. Yeah, and then there's some the fencing. There's nothing there. Uh, that's a that's actually a drainage easement, so nothing will ever be there on that other side. Um, it's a drainage easement for, for the other for no the other no for the for the other properties, this property and and the Healy's property, um, and I I don't know why it's there. It's on the. Are there some? Is there some natural vegetation? Yes. There? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's all treed. It's all treed right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All that back line area, a sideline area, yeah. and there's. there's and then there's also, I there's also, I think, what, I think what that drainage takes is off of Mountain Ave, was okay. probably required by the town years ago. That's what I think, it looks, and, it's and big. It just so goes it back it, there and yeah. takes everything off of Mountain Ave. So that can never really be demolished, all that vegetation. No. No. So that no. provides a natural oh, screen. Unless yeah. it, does. it does provide natural screen. <laughs> 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 and then there's and also fencing. <laughs> there's <laughs> also fencing, oh, the all the orange is fencing. Uh, where the where are your uh, mailbox is going to be? Uh, how's that work out in the setup? We're Do you have Do you have like a, a central we mailbox show, system? Yeah, there was something on the drawing here, but I didn't. We were thinking about maybe putting them over here yeah. so you can right. pull around and check. I mean, it's twenty two feet wide, so it's long enough for someone to go a around you. Rounding. And yeah, uh, yeah. Allow cars to pull up to those box access type thing. But I didn't know that the septic field is right here. So, right. and you can do that. I just wasn't sure. So we're gonna. Another possibility. Yeah. But I don't want people to have to pull into here in order right. to get the mail. But to get to the mailbox. Well, fine. It's gonna be somewhere, somewhere up in this area. Right. Um, he had it on a previous drawing there, but I had him take it off just because I wasn't. I didn't want to show something that may not. Okay. Now you have a septic up in here, right? No, that's the um, <coughs> that's, that's the, the fail backup. Space, the backup. Yeah. Okay. Um, but realistically, you'd never use that because it's a lot cheaper just to dig up the if the primary fails, dig that up and redo that one. Yeah, unless you use the facilities. Even even putting <laughs> all the fill in, it would still be cheaper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because then you're yeah. well, all the piping is running this way. Not yeah, so everything's way. running to it. I'd have to change everything. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. you have to put in a pump station. There, well, we have yeah, we have three pumps already. Did we ever get a traffic study? 
Yep. Yeah. How'd that work out? Great. It's, 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 well, it's mentioned in the in the comments. It, but I don't know that we ever actually saw it. Did yeah, I don't think we ever did. Yeah. 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 But, but in the comments he says he's Peter satisfied with it, but I'm not sure. If no, no. Who says he's satisfied sure. with it? Peter, Peter. Palmieri. Peter. Yeah. But I'm yeah. not sure if we ever. Who makes the decisions? Did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that good, right? Still have to come here. Well, well, you, you have you have it. It has to be a report submitted. A couple weeks right. ago, it has to be a report submitted. You have to say, Matthew, that we haven't received the report. Um, I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure it's with the with the uh, grab you in the file. file. With the file. Yeah. Is there any photometric plan? Let's just take a yep. photometric plan. Yep. Last page. Is there any internet bright mm -hmm. like LED lighting all over the place? And, or is it's it going to meet the bylaw. It's going to meet the bylaw. Well, it's up. I mean, for the. I drive around to Washington and I can You can't find it, Matt. Very ugly. Yeah. 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 It might be over there. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, I mean, if you if you want to if you want another copy, post, I mean, I can. Uh, if you can't find it, I'll I can drop off, and Peter has a copy that he can make it a little I can also send you an electronic copy because it's 100, 120 uh, pages. I think, I think I've got the PDF here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure we have it with the file. I mean, how far we want to go with tonight's discussion? But I'm satisfied with the plan in general. We want to make a motion. Do you have a motion to close the public hearing? We have a motion to, to accept the plan as submitted. That's first. Yeah. All right. So we uh, so I'll make a motion that we accept the plan as submitted for the architectural review of the Center Protection District for uh, plan. SP 117 at 220 Center Street. Do I have a second? A second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Closed. I'll make a motion that we close the public hearing. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're done. And the Aye. conditions so of approval to be written when? Uh, when? Well, what's like the, the yeah, so the draft, uh, the draft is in there, uh, and the draft of the special <laughs> permit. Is there, um, so I think my, my, my sort of, yes. Yeah. Can I there was a waiver of for that. Why yeah. the, um, special yeah. permit hasn't been filed yet? Uh, because apparently we, I thought we could right. just, uh, yes, we did. No, no, we made it 20 percent the letter. I thought it would just be sending a, sending a letter up, but uh, apparently we didn't know that we have to do the whole, all of it goes. The site plan, is it, so site plan approval is attached to the special permit? No. Well, yeah, the, the conditions I've done, there's all, th all three of the things are in the, con I mean, part of the problem is I've, well, I guess the planning board hardly ever does special permits. This is my first one. But all three, I've in, in, the in the proceedings and decision, I put all three together. And then there's also a separate page, which is just the special oh, okay. permit, which apparently the apparently town clerk doesn't need to get that. That just goes there. The, the one that's just one page, the one page, yeah. Uh, and so um, that apparently is, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sort of a lawyer, but from my understanding of the mass general law and so that seems to be. All right. So we thought it was like a letter was sufficient, but it's not. I guess we have to support all this other stuff. Yeah, that. I'm good. <laughs> but if they're not conditions of the special permit, why would they need to be? They're not conditions of the special permit, they're conditions of the site plan. I don't know, Matthew, you're the one who. Yeah, my, my, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but just looking at general law and also this thing we got from town council years ago, and I've been looking at what Maryland did before. It looks as though um, for the special permit to, to sort of to submit it to town clerk, it should be with a full proceedings and decision. But and so not just a letter. Tonight? Like is this yeah, something where you can just plug in a little information we can yeah, put I think, it out I mean, and I think, and sign it? Yeah, tonight? the things that I've put in the things I've highlighted are what I need to change, which is can be done in ten minutes, I think. Um, and I guess you don't have to read it aloud, right? Because it's not a subdivision, so it's not like it's doesn't the read it. So, so yeah. Uh, then I guess if you read the conditions, that'll take a few minutes too. Well, no, because we're going to read them exactly the way you have them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
what are five minutes, two minutes, whatever. Yeah. All right, so let's Usually Brian's a pretty fast reader, I guess. We got time. Let's do it. So I think. No, I'm trying to remember. So we look. I guess we're looking for a motion. For the let me just. I'm sorry. For the waivers. Um, so I'm trying to remember now. I got it in. Uh, so I think you guys, for, okay, for 220 Center, you guys never <coughs> voted to grant the waivers, I think, uh, looking at my records. Um, so I think you do need to do that. Where are the waivers listed? On the plan? It should be listed on the plan. They're in the, deci yeah, they're in the decision also, one of the conditions. <laughs> Waiver requests, development impact statement, parking and loading, any entrance or ex existing driveway shall be a minimum of 24 feet. Request to allow 22 feet and to eliminate the requirement of curving at edges of all paved surfaces. Right, so, so those are three waivers. So uh, but the curving will. Uh, we still have curving in the whole the radius. Yes. Yeah. 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 We, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's all. Like all the grant curving and all the front. No, that's on there. The Let me ask you. That's 24. Yeah. Uh, What's that? Uh, one other thing uh, on your waiver request. Yeah. Um, it shows on your current plan 24 feet, but you're requesting 22. No, is that uh, actually? Uh, no, that's right. The entrance, the commercial area is 24 all the way up to here, and then when okay. it goes into residential, so you're talking 22. about the 22 on the residential Correct. section of this. Correct. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's fine. The plan as is will stay with the 24 on there. So okay. That's you got the 24 feet leading to. And that's all curving up there as well. That's kind of you got feet, lined up so. really nice too. So. Yeah. yeah. So I'll make a motion that we accept the current the. Uh, the following waivers to the plan. One, a development impact statement. Two, parking and loading any entrance or existing driveway shall be a minimum of 24 feet. It will be 24 feet at the entrance and then 22 feet at the residential section. And then three, to eliminate the requirement of curving at edges of all paved surfaces in the residential section. That sounds right. Mm -hmm. I'll second that motion. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Hi. Anybody opposed? Okay. So, so Matthew's going to take it up with this work. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Shut that door. Matthew, here's what we could adjust it. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um. Well, it's it's, a, it's exactly what, what it's okay. exactly what Andy just said. Give I just give that up to. <coughs> I just I modified the language to reflect what Andy said. Yeah, okay. So next we're doing. We've already granted the special permit. We just need to sign this tonight, right? Right. And, and then we do it under the conditions. So we've got them here. And I can't read the conditions because we're just giving them a sheet of Well, I don't think it's pretty short, actually. So, so we're talking about page. Yeah, we're talking about uh, approval subject to the following conditions. Exactly. Okay. I'll just read it real fast. All work should be done in conformance with the stand plans entitled Site Plan 220 Center Street, Pembroke, Mass. by Grady Consulting LLC. Dated February 2nd, 2017. Revised March 10th, 2017. Revised April 24th, 2017. And revised May 3rd, 2017. Oh, I don't know if we should, and except for these ones that he's just submitted today, I don't know if These are the same set you have. So they're the May 3rd no, one. No changes have been made since May 8th, correct? Okay. And accepted by the planning board on May 8th, as well as the following additional conditions. All signage must comply with the applicable provisions of the town's bylaws and regulations. All vegetation planted in accordance with this decision shall be reasonably watered and maintained until established. Should any vegetation die off, the petitioner shall plan replacements. The developer shall provide water as per the regulations of the Department of Public Works. The petition five, the petitioner shall submit an as-built plan with a written statement approved by the board that all conditions of this vote have been complied with before an occupancy permit may be issued. Number six, 
All site work must comply with existing regulatory town bylaws as to times work may commence and end and to days of the week when site work can be conducted. Number seven, all outstanding comments on the mural engineers and land surveyors review letters shall be satisfactorily, satisfactorily addressed. Number eight, with the reference to the waivers requested on the cover page of the drawings entitled Site Plan 220 Center Street, Number of Mass, by Grady Consulting LLC, did blah, 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 as previously voted and approved by this board. Section A, Section 4. 15, Development Impact Statement B, Section 5.4. Um, that's where we said parking and loading in the entrance or exit driveway shall be a minimum of 24 feet in width and 22 feet in width in the residential areas. And 22 feet in width in the residential areas. C, Section 5.62, Curving shall be placed at the edge of all paved surfaces. And how did I revise that, Matthew? Uh, uh, in the residential section. No. No. Not in the, no. Not in not the residential section. No. At the entrance. Curving shall be placed at the end of all paved services except oh. for. Except. Except. Except in the residential section? Yes. Yeah. Except, Except in the, the residential, residential section. Matt, let me give you a minute. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hmm. put the um. <laughs> <laughs> You want to finish up? <laughs> All right. <coughs> well, that's it. No, no. Oh, the the special permit runs Oh, the special permit runs to the petitioner only and should not run with the land. Should the petitioner leave the property, the special permit should become null and void. Any judicial appeal from this decision regarding the special permit shall be made pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 40A, Section 17, and any such appeal shall be filed within 20 days from the filing of the decision with the Office of the Town Clerk of Pembroke. If substantial use of rights authorized with the site plan approval are not exercised within two years of the date on which a copy of this decision is filed with the Town Clerk, then the site plan approval shall expire. Okay, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, let's, 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 let's just make that understood between us. You're talking about the curbing going to the residential section, right? Is that, it, does it make it clear that if we state, state an elevation, like 92 feet according to this, I don't see an exact station for you. Here, it's out, um, um, highlighted. I know you have a small. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so it's, um, <coughs> he's got it actually, the curbing on the drawing. See all the dark, okay. yeah. all the dark curbing coming up to here and all yeah. along here. Okay. Kind of radius so of it would stop it. This, yeah, it stops. Yeah. yeah, because I think this is a wash point to go into this holding basin, so you, I can't put curbing there. Okay. So you, you've got it listed as to this point. Yeah. All right. So once we get a point, we get a point. We're on the same page. And it does refer back to the plan, that exception. Um, Matthew, I think it's just it's a residential. I think you're yes, right good. now. He's just like he does show it on the times yeah. he's shown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah um, Nathan, I don't think anything's been updated since May. You come across here. Yeah. So make sure that has that extended sidewalk. Yep. Sure. That's it. Uh, call, call Galvin up. Make sure whatever is submitted is what he needs. You have a special permit issue. Um, do you want to hear that, Matthew? So you can double check with, with um, Attorney Galvin. Contact Galvin. Galvin. What does he out? want? If if Whatever Bob says, but both. we need to sign this tonight. Yeah, let's sign the. Uh, I'm not I'll whatever sign. Bob. Sometimes oh, Bob's been wrong. Well, <laughs> <laughs> at this point, we've approved it. Yeah. We've approved it. Yeah. Okay. We got a short phone call. Look, if please. there's something that we're not getting, let's just submit it. So, if we thought, thought we might be taking that action at our last meeting, but apparently, it's, 
Well, well I'm taking it at this meeting too. So uh, well, that's what I'm just saying. <laughs> you got your suspenders with your, your belt. Yeah, that Matthew one is always the old reliable. <laughs> Contact Coppelman Page when that question is. But Brian, I think at this everybody point everybody he's, he's already done all of that, and he wants you to want to keep. I just want one copy. I have this reaction. That's fine. I want to sign anything tonight. Yeah, I just hope that. It works. We are. Yeah. If it's not, we'll hear about it, I'm sure. Well, we'll hear about it. We'll have to respond the next time we meet, which... We'd delay you even further. But it's, even, it's all closed. Right? So, so we can just do it outside of the meeting. Yes, yeah. sort out any issues if anything comes up. We could just ask people to come back and sign them. Yeah. We're going to sign it tonight mm -hmm. while we're all here. He's right now bumping up against now winter, you know, for concrete the foundations and everything. Yeah. You're trying to get a frame before the winter? I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to get the first couple houses, COs, and, and the commercial before the winter. Oh. We did not, by the way, condition the fact that this commercial building has to be built. It? It's in the uh, variances. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have to go back to the zoning board. They had, they miss, they, they incorrectly wrote something in the variances. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, it says it had to build first, but it's, okay. it's built concur well. concurrent with the with the residential, you know. So so I can get, I'm going to build it first just because I don't. Well, want it's to be also building. residential. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's concurrent. I, I, I just don't want to get a repeat. Yeah, I just don't want to get a repeat where we get you now 14 houses in the back and nothing else. Oh no, it's in the variances. I have to build it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Plus, so like it, I said, that gives I, me absolutely no assurance. I got. I got two apartments up there. That'll help us. You go back there and give you a new variance. It says so then, just, just out of curiosity, on that front building, that one's going to be sprinkled? Yes, that has to be. Yeah. And that will be. So you're building that first? That's I'm building. I'm, st I'm doing the whole site at once because I have to do all the septic system yeah. in order to get up on, so I have to do everything at once. And then I'll do um, the commercial. And then, I don't know, the left side or the right side, I'll probably do two or three, um, three different models. Mm -hmm. Probably two of the ones that get sold first. Yeah, and then see which, see how, it, you know, see how they're going. Um, mm -hmm. See if people, which model they like better. Um, and and that's then, what you'll yeah, and those are the ones all. Now, just out of curiosity, um, are you going to come in here when someone says, "Well, I like this, so I want it over here." We're going to end up twisting this thing around. Or? Um, are you going to build these customers? You know what I'm saying? It's all about a certain design. Yeah, I'm building. Well, these are on a certain location. You mm -hmm. just show building the design. Yeah, the these are these will be. Units, right? Yeah, the these is what are, These are all things that have a design element. To them. Yeah, so the whisper is different than the plumber. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, right. they're but different. You know they're not saying. all going to be pop 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 all the no, same. No, I understand that, but I mean, you're not going to have a client that's going to say, "Well, I want that particular one on this particular site," and have to come in here again. Are you? Um, I don't think so because. The footprints, I don't have, believe it, I mean, it's a big site and I have a lot of open space, but I don't have a lot of wiggle room because okay. of the way the road is structured. Right. No, I now, just I just if I want to put, it, if I want to switch a, you know, a carver on the left side with a, a Worcester or something, I'm not going to increase the lot coverage. They're the same, they're, they're you know, they're, they're all within. About the same footprint? Yeah. They're all about yeah. within 100 square feet of each other. Um, so. Uh, well, you're going to stay within the design of the Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm getting yeah. at. Right. Yeah, but I'm looking at it. I don't see you have a lot of flexibility. Yeah, I don't. If you wanted to. Yeah. Exactly. Because of all, of, you know, like you have 20 <coughs> feet between these two buildings. If you yeah. turn them around, I don't, you know. Yeah, you may, you may mess yourself up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there's not where the garage is facing. And honestly, they're, um, the six that are ranches, they're fairly, they're they're small at 15, just under 1,600 square feet. But they're sprawling, like ranches are all on one floor, so. That's actually, you know, if you put that two <coughs> stories, that's a th 3,000 square Oh, that'd be, home. yeah, big house, but so the, now the it's the all on. <laughs> yeah, you should see the size of the commercial building that has to go in for it. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry, I got a little carried away there. So, it's, it'll, it'll uh. <coughs> so, um, well, Matthew's sure. typing, can we approve the minutes for the site walk on May 20th? So he's typing it. Oh. Am I, I, well, I, I think we're just waiting on that and we're going to sign it. Oh, okay. So yeah. am I done? I guess yeah. you. Well, unless you know, wait for you the next oh, Yeah, I'll wait. It's been a year. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you had a vacation. Wow. In you got out of that quick. I, huh? sailed up. I was out in the water and I got sunburned. <laughs> delivering a boat. Right. All right. So, so I wasn't on the second one. So, so Tom, Brian, Andy, Paul, and me. <coughs> 
Mm -hmm. 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 Matthew's vacation plans, yeah, we know about that. See, I was just going to say, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to buy the plane tickets tomorrow. You should do that. Well, you really so learned from the past, uh, just uh, do it. <laughs> Pull the trick. Get that out for us, right? You do have a letter from the solar people. Yeah, I see that. Which is do we want to just have them come in, or we do, do we need to do a slight walk? Or? Oh, did you see that email? So, so uh, no, I'm just asking for the $25,000 they should give us. Mm -hmm. Well, he said he wanted to meet with Town of Pembroke personnel at the site to determine if there's a visual complaint or a viable complaint. Yeah, there is. We got one. But, but, but there's no discussion of the planning board. The, the agreement that was made in that time when we gave up the right to ask for a landscape plan and when we agreed mm -hmm. to do it on their time frame was yeah. that we would have discretion as to where those plantings would go. Right. So are we going to do a sidewalk or are we going to... Yeah. No. Well, you can drive by and see how horrible it works. It, it's pretty horrible. But mm -hmm. the issue right now is just that they don't want to give us our $25,000 to put in escrow so that we can do plantings at our discretion. They want to be in control. Yeah, I told you we should have got the money first. We should have done the landscape. They bought it every step of the way. What do you mean? The only thing it says is that there would be notice to the solar project applicant to ensure any screening does not interfere. Oh, I thought we already had the 25. No, no, no. The company that we were negotiating with has no relationship with the company that's actually doing this, and they're like, we don't want to pay it. There's a representative from that company here in the the engineer of the project or whatever said, I don't have the authority. But she, she, she chirped up and said, I have the authority. Right. Well, she worked for the company. Well, who was she? Does anyone remember? Uh, she's on record.